Okay, so today I'm just going to record a god-awful video. Uh, so this one got damaged in shipping. Uh, as you can see here, we got a crack right in the edge there, and we can verify it's going all the way through just, just by the fact that it goes all right there. So it just, something hit it right there, and um, normally something like this would happen from somebody prying, trying to open it up. So maybe the guy opened it up before he shipped it, I don't know. But you can you can clearly see it's it's separated there. It just came delaminated, um, so got to replace this screen. Uh, surprised the oxygen indicators haven't gone off. That they're normally white when it's cracked, but maybe just because it's so recent, um, the that hasn't gone off. So let's get this thing off. Now, these things aren't too bad to get off, but man, is it hard to get all these pins to line back up and get them back on there. This is this is not going to be a fun replacement, but let's get it done. All right, one down and one to go. Got to get one off the parts board. So uh, I'll just go ahead and take that off of there. Okay, and we're free now. Uh, I'm not going to record trying to at least set it onto there because I've done this before. I know how hard these pins are to line up. I don't want to try to do that on the camera. So I'm going get, to get this thing put on here and then I'll start recording again. Okay, so let's uh, test out this new screen and make sure it works. So, um, give her some power here. All right, and we're working. That's a nice, bright one. That came out pretty good. God, these things are the worst. So, so many pins. Not not a fun repair. Uh, I would not recommend breaking one of these. So, uh, good way to break them is trying to pry at these things so they line up right around where it was broken at and if you shove a screwdriver in there trying to try to pry these little tabs right here there's a good chance you're gonna poke that and and break it which I have a feeling that's what happened here but um, he's sticking to the story it was working when he shipped it so uh, it's possible it flew around in the box and somehow delaminated it but uh, I highly doubt that um, Pretty confident somebody took this off, and that's what did it. I'm not seeing a bunch of marks on here, though, so 
you know, maybe my assumption's wrong here. It, it, it could legitimately have just broken shipping, so... Uh, let's look at the... Let's look at the main part here and see if we see any scratches on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's most likely just damaged in shipping. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a repair that can be done. Normally when you see these things crack, somebody's got, like, a really big subwoofer in there. Just vibration damage has vibrated to the point that it cracked. Like, you know, they got, like, two 18s and doing competition audio. Uh, that's generally how these things get broken. This is uh, this is my first one that's not been uh, broken from uh, vibration damage. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully you like this video. It's just a little short one here showing you how to... How to replace this guy. It's not a fun repair. I don't recommend it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.